Hello book people, P.T. Hilton here. It is Questionable Saturdays, which is the segment in which I present a strange hypothetical book-related question and ask you to answer it, and I provide my answer as well. This week I'm going to give you one that I might have accidentally stolen, I think, because I just vaguely remember having heard this before, and I think it might have been from Chuck Klosterman, maybe in one of his books, maybe Sex, Drugs, and Cocoa Puffs or something. I think he did this scenario maybe with movies, but I'm going to twist it and give it to you with books. I may, have, I may have got it from somewhere else. If you know where it's from, let me know. Put it in the comments. All right, so here's the scenario. You are called in front of a council of the world leaders. You got your, you know, your president, your kings, all that stuff there, and you don't know why you're there. You're kind of freaked out when they call you up there, and they're like, um, okay, here's the situation. Six months ago, we were contacted by an alien race, they asked us a question, and we have been debating that question ever since. We've basically come to the conclusion that we can't answer it. The deadline is tonight, so we're, we don't, didn't know what to do. So the last couple months, we've been conducting a search for like, we decided this isn't something that should be decided by committee. It should be like a one person kind of thing. So one person should answer this. And, you know, we've been reading your Goodreads reviews. We've been uh, watching your BookTube channel, if you have one. Uh, we've been, you know, listening to your phone calls, reading your texts and emails, and then they see you're like a little, little concerned about that last part, and they're like, ah, just kidding, just kidding about that part. But the point is, we think you are the perfect person to answer this question. And you're like, all right, so what's the question? And they're like, all right, these aliens uh, said whenever they discover a civilization, they have a they have a, a kind of a test, a question they give to the civilization to decide how they're going to proceed in inter interacting with this civilization. It's always the same one. It's like the perfect test. It works with every civilization. And now they're giving it to us. They've asked us to submit to them one book. They don't want like a nonfiction book. They don't want a, a like a religious text. They want a fictional a novel. Um, turns out every Every culture has novels, which of course is no surprise to you because psh, what culture could live without novels? Let's be honest. So they ask you what one book you have. You have I'm, I'm so sorry that it's, we've had six months to decide, but it's just uh, you unfortunately only have 10 minutes because we have waited till the last minute on this thing. So what are you going to pick? What is the one book that you would give to this alien race? Kind of just going to help determine what do they think of humanity? If you would like to be like unsullied by my opinion, um, go ahead and pause the video now and unpause it and I'll come back in a second and give you my answer. All right, hopefully you have your answer. Maybe put it in the comments below, I hope, with some rationale of why you selected that. So this is kind of a tough one, right? What do you do? There's some, a few different good approaches. Do you go with like a book that makes humanity look super tough and maybe shows us defeating some aliens to kind of put the fear of God into them and make them be like, oh, we're not gonna mess with this humanity. Um, do you go with something that shows like a very, kind of our compassionate side, our intellectual side, something that maybe great art to show them how the great art that our humanity is is capable of producing, um, something funny, who knows, what do, what do you do? I thought about this for a while, um, probably too long. Yeah, definitely, definitely too long. And one thing I noticed when I was looking through my the books that I love though is, man, I like a lot of books where people are basically horrible to each other. So I, that cut out a lot of them right there. I don't want to submit any of those to the aliens. So the book that I almost went with, very close, came very close, was The Martian. The reason for it was, there's not like a true like person being terrible in that book. It's more like, it, it's about someone, it's about the kind of the ingenuity of humanity, the determination, um, humanity working together towards this goal. It's very inspiring and I thought the aliens would, it would, it would make us look good in front of the aliens. But then I thought about it a little more and I realized the fatal flaw, which is that book goes into quite a lot of detail around um, our views, current views on science. And it kind of tips our hand a little bit. If, if their goal in reading this book is to find out like how uh, technologically advanced we are, this is really going to tip our hand. Uh, so maybe this reveals too much information about our current um, scientific knowledge. So. I decided not to do that. I'm gonna play it safe on that one. And I went with a little more of a historical novel, a classic. I went with Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Now, if you read this book, you might be like, PT, there are 
definitely people being horrible to each other in this book, which is true. I'll give you that. There's a lot of selfishness um, on the part of our main character and many others in this book. There's a lot of pettiness, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people behaving badly. However, I feel like it also does a great job of showing the other side of humanity, the compassion, the unconditional love, things like that. There's a uh, I'm hoping that the aliens will read through all the way to the end and hopefully they don't stop halfway through and are like, blow them up, well, I'm done. Hopefully they read her to the end. Maybe they'll get to that line towards the end that I'm not going to spoil and it'll be like when I read it and get, they'll get a little tear in their eye. They'll be like, you know what? Humanity's okay. Let's, let's give them perpetual energy or whatever. So that's my answer, great expectations. I'd love to hear your answer. Please put it in the comments below. I'm gonna be back again next Saturday with another questionable Saturday question. Uh, this one I promise I will have not stolen from Chuck Klosterman or anyone else. Can't wait to hear what you think of this one. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.